phrases, 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 phrases. It was one of you guys' request. So, if you requested this video, or are you highly interested in it, enjoy watching, enjoy watching. So, you want to learn Kosa, right? to us. 
ask them how they are doing you normally say I am fine thank you and how are you doing you say ndia pila enkosi unjani wena and then plural when you want to say we are fine thank you and how are you doing say siya pila all of us siya pila enkosi unjani wena or you want to ask how are you all doing but not just one person you say okay let me say it in english we are fine thank you and how are you you say siya pila enkosi ninjani nina unjani one person ninjani multiple people unia pila are you guys okay ndia pila uya pila are you okay siya we are fine dia pila i am fine okay so and then if you want to say it's nice to meet you it's nice to meet you it's nice to meet you dia vuya ukukwazi dia vuya ukukwazi pleased to meet you Okay. And then um can you please tell me your name? Can you please tell me more your name? Ditela unditelele ikamalako. Your name please. What is your name? What is your name? Your name. What is it? What is it? Ukubani ikamalako. It's multiple people you want a lot of people to tell you your name what are your names what are your names ningobani amakama enu one person ungobani ikamalako ndiyabulela ndiyabulela thank you ndiyabulela the direct meaning of thank you is in and the direct meaning of a andia polela is i am thankful i am thankful i'm thankful dia polela i thank you i thank you or i am thankful dia polela i thank you when you including yourself d is self wan kele kele you welcome you welcome Yes. Yes. Ewe. I know I and then you have excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Utlolo. Utlolo. Dikilo tlolo. Utlolo wethu. Excuse me. Utlolo wethu. Utlolo. Means excuse me. Excuse me and um as in I beg your pardon. I didn't hear you. Can you repeat that? Excuse me, can you repeat that? You say I was gonna say you say I beg your pardon. When you want to say I beg your pardon, you say Tilotola Nukufanga. Titilotola Nukufanga. Or if you wanna say, can you repeat yourself?
Jeffrey say, please forgive me. Dia tell and dia tell and it's a lundi call. It's a lundi call. Ukutela is to beg or to plead. Ukolo is forgiveness. It's a lundi call. Dia tell and dia tell and dia tell and go stop and dia tell and call. Please, 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 I'm pleading with you. Please forgive me. Okay. And then we have goodbye. You say, Usali kakule, Usali kakule, Usali kakule, goodbye. But that's for one person, one person, Usali kakule, plural, Nisali kakule, plural form, Nisali kakule.
was I reading class? Where was I? I was... Tell me, tell me, tell me class. Where did I stop? Where was I? Where was I? Do, 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 do. Are, are you following for now? Can you follow what I said? How to greet people? How to ask who they are? And all and all and all. Okay, hopefully you get it. Let's move on. I was like... Or it 
kumbi langa sese either one is still okay inlu is more like a building inlu is a building ikumbi is a room so ikumbi langa sese nga sese is where it's a private area great 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 and then um now those are the basic phrases basic just basic phrases now it's time to move on to problems like if you are encountering a problem what do you say what do you do when you encounter problems okay great um let's start with i lost something okay i lost something and then you can just put in whatever it is that you lost if you want to say i lost my bag i lost my bag is a bag lost Can you all help me? Dick Ella 
in the afternoon you say emva kwemini emva kwemini but most people say emalanga but you can say emva kwemini and then um, and then if you want to say at night ebusuku at night ebusuku ebusuku uh, in the evening kukuhlwa in the evening kukuhlwa at midnight at midnight as in Zulwini sobusuku midnight as in Zulwini and then um, yesterday is solo yesterday is solo but sometimes people say yesterday pezolo pezolo or isolo means yesterday Today, nam lanje. Today, nam lanje. Tomorrow, gomso. Tomorrow, gomso. Gomso, gomso. Sometimes people, when they say in the morning, they don't say ekuseni. Ekuseni is without a doubt meaning in the morning, but sometimes other people say kusasa kusasa when someone says kusasa you need to be very careful more especially if you are from the borderland you need to be very careful when can i come and someone says kusasa they could mean in the morning or they could mean tomorrow so you need to be careful when someone says kusasa that you understand if they mean tomorrow is in kusasa instead of saying ngomso isim ondo speaking people who are part of the Kosa culture they sometimes say kusasa meaning tomorrow and Kosa speaking people they say sometimes kusasa meaning in the morning okay so be careful but if you are direct and you never want to be questioned if you want to say in the morning ekuseni ekuseni always means in the morning which is why i don't like people who use the word kusasa i'm like no ekuseni a few meaning in the morning and tomorrow ngomso tomorrow always means ngomso don't confuse people with kusasa stop it stop it okay and then we have we have days 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 sunday gets away sunday means gets away monday gomfulo monday gomfulo or mfulo mfulo i put go when i'm mentioning them because i mean on on when i say go on okay Sunday get away means on Sunday but if you just want to say Sunday you just say away 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 can mean Sunday away can mean at church it away is church as well and then it away means on Sunday but if you say get away it means on Sunday that's why you always put to make sure that you took speaking of the day because if you say Tawe, you could mean church or you could mean Sunday and if you say Tawe, means at church Tawe, on Sundays I go to church Tawe, church or Sunday Tawe, on Sunday Gomfulo on Monday or you say Mfulo, Mfulo meaning monday tuesday go luesibini or luesibini and then wednesday go luesitatu or luesitatu and then thursday go luesine or luesine and then um friday go luesilano or luesilano friday Saturday, go mukribelo or mukribelo, go mukribelo or mukribelo. That means Saturday. Okay, great. Um, those were the days of the week. I already thought.
months of the year in Gaza. You're gonna understand and it's really quite interesting how we start the year in the Gaza culture and our year, the new year starts in June. So that's something a lot of people don't know. If you watch that video, it goes into depth into the months of the year. Months of the year. But for people who just want straightforward without the meaning of the months and you know everything behind it. January Ayom Tumba. January Ayom Tumba. February Ayom Tumba. February Ayom Tumba. March Ukwinla. March Ukwinla. April Utanzim Unzi. April Utanzim Unzi. And then May Utanzibe. May Anzibe, June, a silimela, June, a silimela, and then July, Unduligazi. What the hell? That's my first time hearing about that. I think there's a different term for July. I'll put it somewhere here. The thing is, we nowadays, we, when you're buying calendars, the calendars are normally coming in. In English, so when you're filling in forms, everything you do, you fill it in English. So um, I we don't really use closer months of the year. If it's January, we we use ikamalembolek, which I say u January, January u February, we say u February, March u March, April u April, May u May. We don't really use the closer terms for it, but I know for a fact that it's my first time hearing about this July. There's a different month that we call July. It's not Unduli Gazi. I'll put it down here. September, Ayom Sinzi. September, Ayom Sinzi. October, Ayetuaha. October, Ayetuaha. November, Ayenkanga. November, Ayenkanga, Ayonga, December, Ayonga, and then um, look out, look out, Kabela, look out, Kabela, look out, Kabela, and then um, call the police, call the police, please, I'm a police, call the police, please, I'm a police, and then um, get a doctor, get a doctor. Call Sala 
Tzalela u siviwe umleba. I am calling siviwe. Tzalela u umleba u siviwe. Okay. And then, um, give somebody a call. Like I said, okay. Tzalela u siviwe umleba. Okay. A mail. Iposi. A mail. Iposi. And then, um, by post, keep posi. By post, keep posi. And then, fast mail, um, uh, ip posi. A kaule zileyo. O kanye ip posi e nga misekileyo. E post e nga misekileyo. Koko nga misekileyo. Fast, quick, straight to the point. Fast, nga misekile. Koko kaule zileyo. If you don't want to use, koko nga misekileyo. You just say koko kaule zileyo. It means the same thing. Now let's just use like random words. A firstborn is called inla lifa. Inla gula is to eat. Gula is food. Ilifa. Ilifa is fortune that someone leaves you when they pass on. Um, like someone writes on their will. I want to leave my diamond earrings to so and so. That is ilifa lako. That's what they are leaving to you. Ilifa, ukufa is to die. Ilifa is what you get, or someone leaves behind when they leave this planet, right? So why is a firstborn called inla lifa, which means the one who spends the fortune left? By the one who is now unalive. Well, it's because a firstborn in our culture, a firstborn is basically a second parent. And there's something that we call black tax. Usually the black tax is paid by the firstborn. What is the black tax? Well, if you are the firstborn, it's your responsibility to get your entire family out of poverty. That means once you get a job, before you build your own home and you start your own family, you have to build your parents a house or renovate their home or like you have to improve their lives before you move on to your life. You know what I mean? So, so now once they die, or leave planet earth your parents the firstborn is now the head of the family so now the responsibility of the house is theirs which means the home they built their parents is now their home they are the owners the owner whatever was owned by the parents is now owned by the firstborn who is the secondary parent automatically because we never had wills so in Lalifa you're the one who eats the parents fortune or whatever they left behind so what happens to the second the day the fourth and the other kids well this is what would cause a lot of conflict in a lot of like black families because once the parents die they didn't have a will wills are not in our culture normally the firstborn would say now that I'm the head of this family and this is my house, everybody out. And then that will cause a lot of conflict. The rules are rules. This is now my house. Out. And then they would chase others out. And then the others would be like, well, they are my parents too. I want to leave here. Or they, they would say, but even though you are the firstborn, you didn't build a house. You didn't even go to school. I as the third born or I as the second born and the one who built this house for our parents, you know what I mean? So I have the right to be here because I built the house for our parents. But culturally speaking, it doesn't matter. Whatever the parents leave behind now belongs to the firstborn. If the firstborn is a selfish human being, they can chase you all of you out. But if the other siblings also are like you're not gonna walk all over me they can say this is also my parents house and i can stay here but chances of 
the second born or the other kids winning a case against the first born very slim because culturally the first born gets everything if there's not a will but now everybody has moved on to writing a will and then they divide their belongings amongst their kids but if you go deep rural villages the first born takes over everything so yeah that's why the first born is called in Lalifa, the one who will spend the parents fortune when they are unalive uh, because everything is now them if they had cows or anything if they didn't specify that i'm leaving this to so and so and i'm leaving this to so and so all goes to the first born okay okay and then it's weird that the second word they <laughs> they said is a fly a fly is impugane. A fly, the insect is impugane. Um, and and the insect is called imbovane. And then an aeroplane. An aeroplane is called ipanoi. And then an army is called impi. And then a soldier is called ichoni. And then a baby animal is inch on in Jojo, but you have to be very careful of what animal you're dealing with. For example, in Jojo, as for a chicken and a bird, they call it in Jojo for birds usually, or a piglet. Sometimes they call it in Jojo, so you have to be specific. And when you're referring to certain animals, like a baby goat, a baby sheep, or a baby cow, or something like that, you call it itagane, 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 and then uh, beans, imboji, and then to back someone, dia tela, 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 back, plead, tela, and then a bird, indaga, uh, blood, ikazi, book. Mlane 
days all day and night uh yeah and then now let's move on uh a dirty person like a dirty person is called it illegal it illegal you are just like an iron hygienic person who's dirty illegal and if you're a tidy a human being you tidy you are called yomba yomba you're very tidy the opposite of yomba illegal and then a doctor ukriha a dog incha yeah in lebe f umshaba and then uh ilisho um and i far good farm in tzimi father dada fit in yao fight umlo finger iminwe foot ukuja for head ibunzi forgiveness ukolo frog it otro and then gift is sibo god utiko ut amata and then um what else what else he inwele hand is handla um eweka umsebenzi yeah i think it would take the whole day for me to do this i don't yeah um to fall ukuwa to die ukufa to live ukupila to be angry u, to be mad to be angry ukutsapuka to give birth ukuzala to kill ukubulala to laugh ukuhleka to open ukufula to play uku 